for least developed countries like, ne like Nepal, concessionality is critical. We are vulnerable to multiple crises, and there is a genuine risk that our hard-won development gains could be reversed. Climate change impacts have further increased our vulnerability. Nepal, despite contributing negligibly to global emissions, is disproportionately affected by the adverse effect of climate change. We are advocating for climate justice to compensate for the loss and damage incurred to due, due to circumstances beyond our control. After having political stability, Nepal is now firmly on the path to economic development, harnessing its untapped potential. Our strategic location between two of Asia's largest economies, our abundant hydropower resources, thriving tourism and agribusiness sector and our young hardworking population are a key strength. However, we have faced significant challenges, including episodes of devastating earthquake, disaster, global pandemic, and global economic headwinds, which have caused substantial output loss and hindered our progress toward economic prosperity. In order to ensure sustainable and resilient growth, we are adopting our homegrown green resilient inclusive development approach, prioritizing 10 key transition sectors and action to be accomplished over the next decade. Nepal's development priority and grid approach aligns with the World Bank Evolution Roadmap and Global Challenge Programs. IDA's commitment to strengthening country-driven model will empower countries to take ownership of that development agenda, foster inclusive stakeholder engagement, and build robust institution and system. It is important to create a more equitable and resilient global development landscape by provisioning a programmatic and approach that allows implementation flexibility to the recipient countries. Realizing this fact, we wish to closely work with IDA and other stakeholders to streamline this approach in the IDA 21 cycle. Distinguished delegates, please allow me to recall that advanced economies reaped sustainable, substantial benefits from the industrial revolution due to that early adoption of mechanized production access to capital and ability to invest in infrastructure and innovation. This period marked a dramatic increase in productivity, economic growth, and improvement in living standards. In contrast, mainly least developed countries were left behind, largely due to inadequate infrastructure, limited access to capital and technology, and political instability. These factors delayed that industrialization, technological advancement, and economic prosperity. I believe the time has come to address the development challenges of these countries who were left behind during the Industrial Revolution to ensure global peace and shared prosperity by fostering collaboration and providing equitable access to resources, technology, and investment, we can address historical disparities and promote inclusive growth, strengthening international partnership, enhancing capacity building, and supporting sustainable development initiative in those countries will not only uplift this nation, but also contribute to global stability and economic Despite our concerted efforts to accelerate inclusive growth, we face fiscal constraint, deficit, and increasing debt servicing obligation, which create a substantial resource gap in financing our sustainable development goal. 